Stability Testing of New Drug Substances and Products The Q1AR2 guideline was first published in 1993 by the International Conference on Harmonization, ICH, as part of a series of guidelines aimed at harmonizing the technical requirements for the registration of pharmaceuticals for human use. The guideline was updated in 2003, Q1A, R2, to provide further clarity and guidance on stability testing requirements. The update to Q1A, R2, included several important changes, including the addition of guidance on bracketing and matrixing study designs, which allow for a reduction in the number of samples tested while still providing robust data on stability. The updated guideline also provided additional guidance on the use of statistical methods in stability testing and on the evaluation of stability data for drug products. The guideline also includes specific requirements for stability testing of drug products intended for storage in low temperature conditions. Since the publication of Q1A, R2, there have been additional updates to the ICH stability testing guidelines, including Q1B, photostability testing, and Q1E, evaluation of stability data. The guidelines continue to be revised and updated to reflect advancements in scientific understanding and changes in regulatory requirements. Stability testing is a critical part of the drug development process. Stability testing helps to ensure that a drug product remains safe, effective, and of high quality throughout its intended shelf life. It provides information on the chemical and physical stability of the drug substance and product, as well as on the potential degradation products that may form over time. This information is important for determining appropriate storage conditions, establishing expiration dates, and ensuring the consistency of the drug product over time. The Q1AR2 guideline helps to ensure that stability testing is conducted in a consistent and scientifically valid manner, regardless of the country or region where the testing is conducted. The guideline also provides guidance on the design and conduct of stability studies, including the types of testing that should be conducted, the storage conditions to be used, and the statistical methods for evaluating stability data. Overall, the Q1A R2 guideline is an important tool for ensuring the safety, efficacy, and quality of new drug substances and products, and is used by regulatory authorities, drug manufacturers, and other stakeholders involved in the drug development process. Thanks for watching like comment and subscribe for more such videos.